Is it time for the New England Patriots to finally move on from Bill Belichick? Yes, they've had a good win against the Pittsburgh Steelers a week ago. But when you look at the whole totality of this season, it's been abysmal. And it is not the standard for the New England Patriots over the last couple of years. And the last couple of years has been hell with this organization. And Bill Belichick is to blame here. Bill Belichick is not your typical NFL head coach. He's a guy that goes out there, picks the talent, he drafts the guys, and he sets up the roster. And right now, the roster is not good enough to win. And I don't even believe they'll be good enough to win next season either. This is going to be a long process with this team because their offense is so bad. The Patriots record without Tom Brady is 43-53 and historically. And with Tom Brady, it is 266-75. to Is Mac Jones a bust? Yes, he's nowhere near to Tom Brady. They're not even in the same universe. But Mac Jones did have some success his rookie season underneath Josh McDaniels. And they made the playoffs. They did get blown out by the Buffalo Bills. But the second year, a lot of things went wrong with this offense. It was because Matt Patricia was calling plays. And who wanted Matt Patricia to call plays on the offensive side of things when he's been a defensive coordinator for his entire career and he's back to being a defensive coordinator with the Philadelphia Eagles? It was Bill Belichick. He allowed it to happen. He pretty much ruined Mac Jones there. Mac Jones wasn't terrible his rookie season. He had a lot of good moments in that system with Josh Daniels. Would he have ever been a franchise quarterback with this team? I don't believe so but he could have been decent at best with this team he can't read NFL defenses right now his confidence is at all time low and he deserves to be on the bench and I would not be surprised after this season if they just cut him out right or they try to trade him to a team for a fifth or sixth round pick Bailey Zappi is a solid backup at best and he has been doing a very solid job over the last couple of weeks because Mac Jones has been so terrible with this team but this all started with Bill Belichick why are you letting Matt Patricia call plays? Even back to last season, Bailey Zappi had more success than Mac Jones at times. And you look at this season. You bring in a brand new office coordinator with Bill O'Brien. This is a kid in Mac Jones. Like I mentioned before, yes, he is a bust. But you've had a brand new office coordinator every single year in your NFL career. Not too many quarterbacks going to be able to come in with this organization trying to follow Tom Brady's lead with a tough head coach like Bill Belichick and find success when it's a coaching turnover every single year at the offensive coordinator spot. And that is on Bill Belichick. The fact that he rushed those two tight ends a couple of years ago and both of them were bust and you went into fragency and you signed Hunter Henry and John New Smith and John New Smith didn't work out because they did not know how to use him. Look at him with the Atlanta Falcons right now. He's having success with that team, but he had zero success with the Patriots because they didn't know how to use him. And he was a bad player for this team. Then you look at Hunter Henry, very solid tight end when he's fully healthy. That's a decent signing. Matthew Judon was a phenomenal signing with this team. Unfortunately, he missed... He has missed a good portion of this season dealing with a torn biceps. Christian Gonzalez, you select him in the first round. He looked like he was going to be a star corner with this team. He suffered a shoulder injury against the Dallas Cowboys, but he's going to be a good corner with this team long term. You have Mike Gusecki, solid backup tight end, but that's it. You don't have a true number one wide receiver on this team, and they haven't had a true number one wide receiver in quite some time. They can't draft in the first round. It's been miss after miss with Bill Belichick. Nikhil Harry was a bust with this team. The only offensive hit that this team has had in the last couple of years was Cole Strange at the center position. That's it. They can't hit on other positions on the offensive side, and they haven't in the last couple of years. And it does start with Robert Kraft because he's an owner, but Bill Belichick runs the show on the field. He calls the plays on the defensive side of things, and he picks the talent. And right now on the offensive side, the talent is horrendous. Juju Smith-Schuster is a very good number two to number three wide receiver. We all know this. You look at Devontae Parker. He's not a true number one wide receiver. He can't separate. You need a guy that can go out there and get separation, run routes. When they say, hey, we need you to get open, get open quick as a hiccup. They don't have that right now. And you don't have a quarterback like Tom Brady walking through that curtain and saying, hey, you know what? I can elevate these guys around me. Mac Jones can't do that. And Bailey Zappi can't do that either. You will get a couple of games where Bailey Zappi goes off against a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers. But look at the Steelers right now. This is a Patriots team that is used to making deep playoff runs and making logistical Super Bowl pushes. And right now, that's not happening with this team. They're in a terrible situation. Demario Douglas has high upside with this team. I know some people are down on him. I think that he could be a very good wide receiver long term this team if they continue to develop him. He has 410 yards receiving as I record this video. 
But they need a true number one. And that's easier said than done. But before they go out there and try to get a number one wide receiver, they need to find a quarterback, whether it's Drake May, whether it's Michael Penix, whomever. And I do believe that Bill Belichick should no longer coach this team. He only has a year left on his deal, and the last couple of years have been terrible. A first-round exit a couple years ago was not a successful season for the Patriots. They are used to winning Super Bowls and making Super Bowl pushes. That is what they're used to. And they're not going to be able to do it with the way that this roster is constructed right now. And you look at the defensive side of things, they're getting things done. I really like their defense. The numbers are down because their offense continues to turn the football over and they can't get things done on the offensive side, but you have good defensive talent. Matthew Judon is a good linebacker with this team. One of the best pass rushers in the league when he's fully healthy. Christian Gonzalez is a beast at the cornerback position. Jabril Peppers is a nice safety with this team. Josh Uche just a year ago had double-digit sacks. This season only has two sacks, but he has shown in the past that he could be a good player with this team. Devon got you. Solid defensive tackle. Good at stopping the run. He's not going to go back there and get a lot of sacks, but he's going to go back there, push the pocket and stop the run. He's a big body. So you have guys on the defensive side of the ball that can go out there and help you win football games. And Kyle Duggar is a nice safety as well. I don't want people sleeping on him. The defense is not the problem with this team when they're fully healthy. It's the offense. And I do believe that Bill Belichick can work somewhere else with a team that has an established quarterback and established talent, but he just can't rebuild this Patriots team. He's been with this team for so long. He's been with this team for decades. And yes, it was successful early on with Tom Brady. He was one of the best defensive minds in the NFL at the time. And he still is, in my opinion. But when it comes to drafting a team and trying to rebuild a team, it's not going to happen. Especially when you have defensive coordinators calling plays on the offensive side of things. They need to get this situated. But let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the Patriots. And should they hold on to should they hold on to Bill Belichick at the coaching spot? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.